It's interesting. So just the other day, Harvard University announced that they were putting all of their undergraduate education online. So I, looking at the future and putting on my futurist hat or my looking into my crystal ball, as I'm looking forward, I would say that this is actually much, not just a single disruption, this will be a deep restructuring of what higher education is. So first of all, Harvard University is looking more like American public university system today and in the fall than it was two, three years ago. In five years, Harvard will look more like this. Harvard's also charging the $49,000 plus for tuition. I think students need to say, is that really worth that amount for what I'm paying out of pocket to be able to do this when they see the quality of institutions like American Public University System or others that do this well, and they have to step back and say, is what I'm receiving really the value? And there's been questions throughout, you know, for the last decade on the value of higher education, the return on the learning for the student, the return on the investment. I think this is one of those bellwether events that's going to have not only policymakers, students, and families who are paying for this, ask what they're really paying for and what they're actually getting in value. And I think that's going to change, definitely. Uh, I don't think institutions are gonna be able to charge full tuition. I think students are right in asking you know, for a discount. I mean, institutions already discount that. Another thing I'll say is institutions are going to fail. There will be institutions that have to shut doors because of this because they haven't been able to adapt unless they can figure out some type of consortial agreement like I was talking about with another institution to be able to help them bridge that activity. You know, we want diversity in all of education, whether in the United States, Canada, or anywhere in the world. That's a strength of the human capital of, of, the, of that nation. And when institutions perish, when they die, that takes away those opportunities. So taking the opportunity during this time Many institutions are going to fail, but those that are smart, I think, are going to find adaptations during this period. Another part of this is um, it's not only changing higher education, it's changing the rest of society and how it works. So education has new opportunities to train in things such as how to provide services at a distance, how to be able to take care of your health, your mental wellness, your shopping, your transactions. Uh, if you've had a medical procedure or a, a, a doctor's office visit, you probably had it in a virtual setting. Moving from the on ground and seeing that it has to be done on ground is going to be different. This is, these are going to be definite shifts in the economy. We have courses and programs in transportation, logistics, and reverse logistics. Uh, that has changed completely how we look at things, uh, just look at uh, supplies on the, on the grocery store shelves, and uh, those things that you couldn't find during this time, our, all of our logistical and our, our supply chains are gonna be changed and looked at over the next few years, meaning that it's not just education, it's how services are delivered by government, by business, by industry, and how we are able to reconfigure and do those things. Frankly, if someone can prove that they've been able to be very effective by working at home and telecommuting, can those businesses and others require them to come into the office? And is that actually the best way of uh, taking care of them? And again, what about the children that are at those homes? The children that cannot go to school the same way. Schools, public schools, private schools, elementary schools will not be able to open. And again, we're talking about risk of, of life in these scenarios for a while, it's when we look on the future, when can we have a vaccine? Even with a vaccine, you still have to develop herd immunity. It takes a while for these things to be in place. So this is, this is for a while. I would just say higher education will look more distributed, more online as it is in the future. Some players are going to learn and they're going to move into this. We'll have more competition. Uh, even though being a pioneer in that, we'll have more competition and some will do it well. 
some will fail and some will find something that will bridge them until there's more uh, favorable circumstances for them to bring students back so they can have that, that in-person experience.